What's yeah. up, man? Uh, how's it going? Great, great. And yourself? Uh, doing, doing well. I really enjoyed that uh, stream yesterday, the, the art contest. Beautiful. It was, it was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better art. Like, I have ma- like amazing art, by the way. Anyway, yeah, what's up? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. People submitted some really, really wild shit. And no, I was going to ask. So, like, I, I heard some of Tonka's uh, stream earlier today where he was like, I'll fight you, Andy. I'll meet you. Just name where, where. I'll meet you. I'll meet you. I'll show up in Florida. We can fight. We can fight. And then I heard you say, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you. I'll fight you. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like, what's the fucking deal then? This is happening on the 31st, right? <laughs> well, it was supposed to, Oh, okay. Oh, that would have been a great promo, man. On Halloween, we could have thrown up some really crazy shit. It would have been amazing. Do you, do you want to explain to him, like, exactly what happened? Because it's just... Okay, so uh, in the stream, uh, somebody, somebody, I guess, uh, sent him a super berry with a message on it, and uh, it, it had said something like... Uh, let's have Irish traveler rules where you meet up in a bar in some place and, and then just fight. And he's like, you know, I've always wanted that. He, I preferred that, but that was originally kind of what we threw at him. And he said, no, no, there's bloodborne diseases. We, we need, we need to have this regulated. We need to have this sanctioned. Um, so uh, he was, let, let me just say, I don't think it's transmissible. I don't think he's going to get a cocaine high from Andy. <laughs> and I don't think, I don't think Andy's legs are going to stop working if Tonka bleeds on him. So I think you both are safe in this fucking instance. <laughs> exactly. I even said, I'll get AIDS to fight you. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Let's do this. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, so, so basically after that was um, Vamp was saying people die. People die in, in unsanctioned fights. In fact, like, e- like even though his DMs or sorry, his Twitter posts was "I'm ready to die" or whatever, like, but she says that. So he brings on Tara La Rosa, who just had on right before you, and she he ends up like bitching at her to like, or I he's like, I have a, a we call it a uh, a fight manager or something, or a booker promoter. I say a, a fight promoter. And then, oh, but it's going to take some time and da-da-da. So she ended up, within five minutes of being off his show, uh, booking the fight for January 19th. Oh, no. See, now I saw that. And then I saw the follow-up to that where you challenged not only Donga, but AIU and then Tara herself. (laughs) (laughs) And Joe Rogan later. (laughs) You do know she would rip you in half, right? Like, have you seen her fight? She would fucking. I I I know I know I, 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 was, no, I tried I, to tell him. I was passionate I was just passionate but so so I accept that that fight then failure I don't know if you saw this but we had a stream where I ended up because I don't trust failure anymore so he called me in the evening and was telling me about the the entire fight like what would happen he told me and I recorded this that I wouldn't get flight hotel or anything. Like I have to pay for everything by myself, and I couldn't promote it to get like a, go, a GoFundMe to help me do all that stuff. And then, so I brought this up the next day on our show, and turns out he was fucking lying. He was trying to get me to be so upset, like pissed yeah, off. He, he made it sound like he was talking to the the same promoter that Tara was speaking to, and and, and he tried to make it sound so unappealing by saying, "Oh, you don't have you don't have uh, streaming rights." Uh, you know, nothing's going to be paid for for you. Um, you know, you can't. Well, I mean, I, I have been debating whether I want to get a hold of Tim Loy and just be like, can I buy the streaming rights myself for this one fight on your card? That just so sense. I can make money off you two beating the shit out of each other? Because I think that's a win for everybody, right? I'm down for that. I don't care. You can, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I just want to fucking fight this dude, right? Like, and yeah, so basically she came on after I yelled at her for about half an hour and came on and said, no. You get hotel, you get flight, you get this, you get that. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. And uh, and then she even suggested I started like a, a GoFundMe, film my training, post that shit. To, uh, she didn't help me get sponsors to put on my like shorts and shit. Like all that stuff. So I'm like fucking sick. So that was the first time. And then he's like, fine, all right, I'll do it. And then he's saying he's like 6'2 or whatever the fuck it is. And he's shredded. He's been training forever. Now he has an MMA team helping him um, to scare me. And then I'm down. I'm interested. I'm interested. And what was the next thing he did, Geek, to scare me? Uh, I don't know. He's bullshitted so fucking much. I don't even... 
I can't even keep track of the amount of fucking stories this guy fucking spits out of his head. Oh, the terrorist line. So apparently he goes, I'll fight you. Okay. All right, where do you want to meet me? Where do you want to meet me? His first excuse was, all right, you, uh, uh, he's going to phone the police on me. That's what he's planning on doing. Gay ops. I'm like, holy fuck. Uh, Destiny was on earlier, actually, and said he'd actually call Ice Poseidon to get that fucking shit in public sign. Like, like he... Like he's done that before, and get that on fucking on Ice Poseidon's show or something. We have so Perfect. many, it's so yeah. many options, so many options. Like, what do you want? Like, I'm down. And then, oh, and he's a terrorist now because I threatened him. I didn't threaten him. I accepted his challenge. The fuck? I, I I don't know. I mean, I think the fight me in real life stuff is gay to begin with. But I mean, if you two boys are gonna do it, I was hoping for Jacksonville. It would have been great to watch two people beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> On Halloween with kids crying as they're collecting candy from the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I think it's stupid too, but I, I was like, fine, I'll fight you, whatever. I'll accept. And then I guess he never really expected anyone to actually accept. And now, like, he's trying everything in his power. That's why I had Tara the Rosa uh, hop on before you. And I was like, can we have a contract? So after November 2nd, they're going to uh, bring a contract for us to sign. And if you don't sign it, you lose. That's it. He's a fuck. Well, I mean, there, there's, there's, I mean, l let's just be really clear. There's no walking away from this. Whichever one of, if, if either of you back out of this now, you're a fucking pussy and you'll always be labeled that. So you guys have to sign this shit and you have to show up. You know what I mean? Like, there's no excuses if you're doing the 19. I want to. This is like, like now, like I, I want. It's not like, a, oh, I have to do. It. It's like, yeah, I want to beat the fuck out of him. Yes, I want his fucking face. Like meeting my fucking fist. I want to see his nose bleed. I want to fucking throw him off that fucking wheelchair and beat the fuck out of him. Yes, I do. <laughs> what are you, what are you, Andy, what are you going to do if he really does wheel in in a wheelchair and punches you in the deck? Like, I, what's your, what's your battle strategy? Beat the, oh, we actually showed a video about uh, a defense from people in wheelchairs. So, <laughs> what, 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 destructive disables. Destructive disable, yeah. That's what, the, <laughs> <laughs> what you're supposed to do is lock their wheelchair first and then you beat the fuck out of them. So I know that you, now. You can that out of it. If he is in a wheelchair, I'll still beat the fuck out of him. I swear. If he's got a cane, I'm swiping that off on the floor and stomping on his fucking face. I will beat up someone in a wheelchair, no problem. <laughs> now, I've heard people speculate that he really has a legit neck injury and that one good pop will cripple him for life. Are you going to make him a paraplegic, Andy? Yes. Yes, I will. But that's the goal. That's make like, memes into reality. <laughs> you know when you're playing a game and you're playing a mission... And then, like, there's always, like, the main mission, but then there's, like, bonus objectives. The main mission is beat the fuck out of him and win. The bonus objective is to make him actually have to leave in a wheelchair. So, like, so I might win, but I want that bonus point, you know? I want to fight someone in a wheelchair now just to see what it feels like, you know? I want to beat a cripple. Everybody <laughs> needs to watch this, Yeah. <laughs> Do you think like uh, failure was on? Like, he's like, oh, he went on webcam and he almost, like he almost reached the top of the door frame. I I, I don't know. I've never seen uh, Tonka on webcam. Like I mean, I, I, everybody's seen like the wrestling clips and shit, but I've never been on cam with them. So I, I I've heard the wheelchair meme. I, I don't know if it's legit or not. I don't know if he's hobbling around on uh, crutches or a cane. But we'll all find out on the nineteenth. What are you gonna do if he shows up and he's like some six foot tall muscle bound motherfucker? What if he shows up and he's the opposite of what you're expecting? No, him? no, I, I'm, I don't care. I'll get my ass beat. I just want to fight. If I get, if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. I want to fight. I might lose if he is what he says. He's trained for eight hours yesterday, apparently. Fucking lying sack of shit. But I'm training like he did train for. The more he's saying what he's doing, I'm training like he is saying the truth. I'm imagining he's 6'2". I'm imagining he's shredded in 190 I'm, uh, pounds. I'm, 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 I'm working towards him saying the truth. And if he does beat the fuck out of me because he's 6'2", shredded, and man, fine. But let's just do it. Like, I'm down. All right. I'll take the fucking beating if I have to. But... Are you going to sell, are you going to sell t-shirts at, you need to, you need to start smart marketing right now. After this fight, let's say you win, are you going to sell T-shirts that said uh, that says 
I beat a crippled Indian. <laughs> and then yeah. shows, shows a crying Tonka, you know, like that old teardrop uh, uh, littering commercial they used to have. Yeah, yeah. And there's Donga just weeping to himself. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about, you know, the Christopher Columbus picture with his foot on the rock, but me with my foot on a broken wheelchair. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to that's the marketing I want to I want to aim towards then yeah man I, I'm just down man like I was just I, hey look you can only talk about IRL fights for so long until someone accepts actually I don't know how if you heard how it started where Geek said he would fight him and he's like fine I'll do it and Geek's like alright let's set it up and he goes actually no I want to fight Andy first right so apparently he wants to fight Geek right after so like <laughs> He'll have fun with so that. How, how, how is that? How is that going to work? You're going to fight. Okay, so you're going to fight Tonka, and then after that, Tonka's going to fight Geek, and you're no, going to fight no, AIU. Off, like, AIU we'll, didn't we'll accept recovery time and, and and time to train again for for our fight, and you know, and I, I don't want to fight him right afterwards because, like, I think originally he said something like that. He's going to whoop your ass and then come fight me. And I was like, no, I want a I want a fresh Tonka. I want a fresh one. I don't want this. Oh, geek only beat me because Andy wore me out. <laughs> so what what are the conditions for where you guys are going to be fighting? Are, are you doing it in North Carolina, where the fuck it is? Uh, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. Knoxville, Tennessee. So it just blood work then to make sure you guys don't have AIDS and shit? That's it. That's yeah. completely it. Yep. No, no physicals. None of the other bullshit. No MRIs. Just one blood test. You're both cleared. You're good. And no drug test. Phew. <laughs> You're lucky man. <laughs> but he's the one who chose that, by the way. Like, it was actually funny because when I was messaging her, she goes, by the way, why did you cho uh, choose Tennessee? And I'm like, what? I didn't choose that. She goes, they all said that you picked Tennessee. And I'm like, oh, shit, fucking Tonka. Meanwhile, Tonka has always said, oh, I've got a promoter in Tennessee. He, he, I think he said that back during the Zoom, the Zoom challenge and... And then an, another one, how how uh, he's got some of the Tennessee he can use. Well, see, I'm, I'm amazed because, you know, I he, I think Tonk is delusional if he thinks this is going to come anywhere near a fraction of a percent of what uh, the viewership was for, uh, what was it, Logan Paul and KSI and shit. Yeah. But, I mean, you will get viewers, and uh, the stream that hosts it will get super chats. Um, and you can even do, like, that ticketing feature or whatever they do on YouTube. So I, I, I'd be, you know, surprised because I, I heard like Lloyd didn't know how he was going to do the streaming. He didn't know kind of how he was going to have it set up, at least for this one particular fight outside of the normal stuff, because you guys are fucking unranked amateurs. So in his mind, you're nothing. But at least for the YouTube audience, he probably could make a pretty fucking good dime uh, streaming that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't even care about the viewers or anything like if there's like like 10,000 or like, I, I don't care. If there's three people watching. I'm down. Because I'm just so fed up at this point that I just want to fight him. That's why I said, fine, you want to fight on the fucking streets? Well, okay, I, yeah, I, wanted, I wanted it in the park, right? I, I was expecting like world star hip hop shit with cameras that aren't fucking properly oriented. But, you know, at least yeah. we'd get something on Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. And we could barbecue afterwards, have some grape soda. I, th I thought this would be, <laughs> I thought this would be uh, like, because he was saying anytime, anywhere, like, so I thought, like, but now he's making, like, he's the one who made it into this big event. And then he was saying, oh, I don't want it streamed. I didn't get, like, I didn't accept those. And I'm like, wait, wait, we're YouTubers. That was the point. That's the whole point of doing this, you fucking idiot. But now Tara is saying, like, no, it's going to be like this, like this. She's saying it's going to be pay-per-view. And I give, I have a code or whatever. I give like the viewers and they and I get a percentage of that. So I don't even know if there is streaming. I don't know like what's happening with that. But um, uh, uh, the guy who's uh, promoting this is available after November 2nd. So that's when we'll do all the, the deals and stuff. And so this is what, uh, it's not going to be boxing then. It's MMA or what is it? Yeah. Yeah. MMA. You all right. So you got, are you guys wearing your little, your little helmets and shit? Or is this a big boy fight? Bare big, boy. Big, it's just like, big boy. It's just a, like what? 16 ounce gloves, bare feet. Yeah. No. Are you gonna yeah. throw? Are you gonna taunt him in his wheelchair by throwing kicks? To yeah. Make him know he'll never have? Is that what your plan is? Actually, I was thinking about rolling up to the uh, the um, octagon um, in a wheelchair. <laughs> You're gonna Willy Wonka that shit, are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, roll out of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gonna make it fair he's gonna bring the fucking chair from the corner and sit down in the middle of the ring <laughs> <laughs> Here, come on. let's fight 
Yeah, man. So I'm I'm pumped. I he just seems like all over the place right now. Uh, he, he if he's that confident, like all right, all right, man, calm down. Fuck. Well, you're you're the first one to accept, right? I mean, this is the first actual fight that he's he's thrown out multiple challenges for. You're the first one to say, okay, fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I said it out of like, okay, fine, whatever. Fuck. Like, well, was, what are you gonna do if he starts trying to use fake wrestling moves on you? What if he tries to power bomb you? What are you gonna I, do? I, I, I think he really fucked up. I think he just, out of rage and anger, he accepted my fight, and then he went, oh, shit, Geek will actually do it. And then he threw it at Andy, thinking that Andy would go, ah, fuck, this is dumb. I'm not going to do it. So then he had his way out of fighting me. But then Andy went, fine, all right, let's do it. (laughs) Oh, that's right. Yeah, somebody in your chat saying Zoom accepted the fight. I, I do remember. I, I think Tonka did throw out a challenge at him, and I, I believe he did accept. So, yeah, Zoom a message to me, but he uh, Zoom didn't accept. Like right when Tonka offered the fight, he accepted like what two weeks later or something. And then when I messaged Tonka or said, said it on the air, Tonka was like, "No, he had one chance. He had one chance. One chance." He'll 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 offer the fight and try anything to get the fuck out of it. He just didn't expect Tara La Rosa to actually set this up as an official date, right? So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. She was on that pretty quick, getting that all set up, and then you <laughs> told her to get her ass in the fucking kitchen and shut her mouth. <laughs> well, well, I I think Tara fucked him. He thought I think Tara fucked him because he thought Tara was just going to come in and massage him and fucking and play up to his bullshit. And then she went, okay, well, I'll get this book. And he was like, fuck again. Somebody else called my fucking bluff. <laughs> you see, he doesn't really stop bluffing. Like, it's really. So no, no talk is saying he's training, right? You know, the eight hour days. Are you training? What What's your regiment? What are you doing? Calisthenics, uh, weightlifting? Are you boxing, shadow boxing? Like, what are, you, what are you doing to prepare? I am actually doing MMA training, real MMA training. Like, I'm, I'm putting money in this. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go too deep into what I'm doing, uh, but yeah, actual training, and my like it's it's rough on the body, but um, yeah, it's so doing a lot of um, uh, what's it called cardio, obviously, uh, MMA training to learn all the moves, the groundwork, uh, striking. Um, I'm also le- learning like like boxing techniques as well, and yeah, a core. I'm working on the core a lot too. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. Like in my head, I'm picturing him using like WWE moves or attempting to do them, <laughs> and then like your training is nothing but coke benches and <laughs> eating Dairy Queen. So like <laughs> you do, it's gonna be fucking awful for 20 minutes in the ring. No, I I I was uh, I have to like stop smoking, not drink energy drinks. Uh, I, I bought an Arizona iced tea yesterday, and Geek was mad at me for doing that. He said, "After have to, have to drink." It's got it's got tons. Of I sugar know, in it. but I'm I, fucking. I, I I dropped so many vices at the same time. I'm like, fine, okay. So I have to drink um, only Gatorade if I want like some sweet drinks. Uh, eating, I have to eat like I'm eating like, like way pro- like like proper and in between meals, protein shakes. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm working at it. I'm doing everything. I'm training like this is an actual, this like the, like I'm fighting someone for real who's actually doing what he's saying he's doing. So yeah. Oh now with the contracts that you're signing, can you? I wonder, could you put a little stipulation in there that the winner has to or the loser has to give like a speech afterwards, where they acknowledge that they are the winner's bitch? <laughs> yes. Like like if Taka loses, he has to say, "I am Andy Worski's bitch." Yeah, yeah, soy filled <laughs> bitch. You, if you lose, you have to claim that uh, you are the bitch of the Donga tribe. <laughs> I will sign. Yeah, I will sign that. I I will do that. Yeah, sure. Oh, Tara, put that in the contract. I I, I will do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> He's like, uh, and then he keeps they keep saying that. Oh, Andy will like back out. And like, I'm not like fucking contract. Put it in front of me right now. I will sign it. Swear to fucking God, I'm down. And yeah, I am training pretty fucking hard. It's intense. The hardest part, I'd say, is my sleeping. My uh, changing my sleeping schedule from like being up all the time. I have to get proper sleep. That's the only thing. Because I'm usually like up at night and sleep in the morning. So yeah. Oh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be interesting to to watch how this how this plays out. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
if you if you do well, you know, smacking a cripple around in the ring, are you gonna are you gonna turn professional, Andy? Are you gonna use this as your doorway into the MMA world? Done. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't care. The thing is, he wants to fight so bad, and it's like, all right, it is all, it all. Like I was like, you know, like a little bit concerned, and like, oh, it might be tough until I watched that wrestling video on the show, and I was like, oh boy, okay, okay, you know. But I would have still done it uh, either way. That's fine. Well, uh, yeah, I, I'm just, I, you know, as the nineteenth approaches. Yeah, when is the contract signing? He said she said after November second he's available, so probably right after that. And then do they just fax it out to you? Or do you have to go somewhere to sign this? I think uh, mail mail it to me and I have to sign it. Like maybe fax too. Like I'll sign it over fax and fax it. They'll, back. Probably, they'll probably just email you a, a contract and print it out, sign it, and then certify mail it back to him. Yeah, you should make a, a video of you signing it, putting in the certified mail and sending it out. So there's no fucking doubt that this is not uh, a roadblock. There's no shenanigans. It got signed. It got sent out. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to show uh, like a video when I have the blood work back to show here's my blood work here. I don't have AIDS. Okay, done. And yeah, like... It's I'm, also a, a relief to Sinead. Yeah, no, yeah. She was worried too. She's like, maybe that is... A, a smart idea. <laughs> uh, fucking yeah, man. I'm fucking. I'm pumped. At first, I was like, "Oh, he's annoying." Now I'm like, "Yeah, fuck yeah." Oh, I can't wait. Oh, like this is. Like, I'm excited. I'm happy. This is like a happiness now. This is a want. Instead of like a fine, I'll just do it because he keeps bitching. Now it's like, all right. After him pulling that fucking bullshit, like posting those fake things to make me look, look like a pedophile, fucking with geek to make him look like a pedophile. Uh, uh, harassing Sinead over Twitter. This is personal now. This is a personal uh, a fight for me. So, are they going to have to pull you off him? Like, are you going to go full full bore once you get in that ring and just start? Uh, let's say you get the upper hand, you're wailing on him. Are you going to? Are you going to have to pull you off him as you're just beating him into the dirt? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, when they they tell me to stop, I'll stop. I don't want to be disqualified. I don't want to like lose. You know what I mean? I'm going to fucking like just. Like my uh, a vision is when he's laying on his back and I'm on top of him and I'm beating his fucking face till he can't block anymore, and the ref has to like pull me back to stop punching him in the face. That's even, my goal. even even when he's knocked out, when you know that he's knocked out from your punching, you don't stop punching oh, him until the ref oh, fucking tells oh, you to stop. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Like I'm gonna make sure that he remembers slash doesn't remember. What happened? Like, it, only until the ref says stop. That's it. He's saying, oh, uh, uh, that he's going to cheat. He said he's going to block my tap out hand. Uh, I'll like, uh, uh, do like a wrist grab or something to block my tap out hand so he could. So he's already planning on cheating, first of all. Uh, but that won't even happen. It won't even get to so that I, fucking I, level. I, I'm, not, I'm not super familiar with the MMA rules. So, like, uh, is it pretty basic shit? Like, no eye gouging and no nut kicks, that kind of thing? Or, like, what, what are their what are their rules? I think yeah, so it's it's yeah, like those two. Um Oh yeah, you can't no, you can't hit you can't hit in the groin, you can't uh I don't think you can stomp on the head. You can kick at the head, but you can't stomp uh, while they're down, but you can kick while they're standing. Are uh, you are you allowed to intentionally break limbs? Like could Andy if he can walk, could Andy intentionally no, break no, his no. legs? Oh. No, no, yeah, you would be disqualified. You'd probably be barred from any MMA uh that's fine. Oh, oh no! What will Andy do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you would be disqualified. Then, of course, Tonka would just go. Oh, I, I won. No, we don't. We don't want him to be able to walk away saying he won. Yeah, everything. I'm gonna do this completely legal. Completely. Uh, I'm treating it completely like it's a real fucking fight. And I'm not gonna cheat. There's no cheating. I'm not gonna pull a Tonka where he has to cheat. Like a little bitch. He's saying too, he's gonna like try, like even if I'm down, he's gonna like let me back up to keep it like so he could keep beating on me. So it sounds like you two have been watching Karate Kid on repeat where he keeps telling Johnny to sweep the legs. Like you wanna go in there and fucking hurt each other. Yeah, well, no sweeping of the legs. It's gonna be fucking breaking his face. That's my goal. Break his fucking face. I'm gonna make sure that, that his fucking, what is it, his left eye that's crossed or his right eye? That people say it's crossed. I want to fix it. 
I'm going to fix your eye, Tonka, you fuck. <laughs> I'm going to fucking make sure. <laughs> Hit him so hard and fucking reorients his eyesight. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is going to be a fucking favor to you, you fuck. And then I'm going to fuck Tranny. Bam, Tranny. Right after. I don't care if she has a dick. I'll fuck her right in the ass. Now, was, was uh, Vamp the one calling you a terrorist? Who was calling you a terrorist? Vamp, yeah. To, to Jacksonville to fight. But Tonka threw out the challenge. I heard him on his stream saying, uh, I'll fight you name where. We'll meet in Jacksonville. Or we'll meet in Florida. I know. That's my point. I'm going crazy here. I don't, I don't like, I'm like, all right, I'll fight you. And he just threatened Tonka. I'm like, what the fuck? He's a terrorist. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. No, nah, it sounds like, it sounds like you're hyped. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be, I just, I'm having flashbacks of low tax and we bowl. I'll be honest with you, but we'll see how it turns out. We'll see how this fucking turns out. Yeah, I'm going to make sure it's good. I'm going to make sure it's good. And you know what? Like all his lies right now that he's saying, that people say that are lies, eight hours. I hope he is, tra I hope he is training like that. I hope he, I, I, like make it a challenge, dude. Don't be a fucking bitch. Make it a challenge. I want to have fun. I don't want you to be fucking knocked out on the, fir on the first fucking punch. I want a fight. Well, he, he claims to he claims to be going to America to American Top Team Gym. Uh, there are a few of them in Florida. Uh, I don't know of any near Niceville, mm. so uh, he, he's got to be he's driving like four to five hours a day just to go to this gym to spend eight hours in there, then come back and spend all night on Discord and then do a show. <laughs> I, I, how he does it, I don't. That's know. why I was like, I heard him on the show today. I'm like, how does he have it? Like, like I I I woke up late because I was just in, I was just sore. I'm like, how did he train for eight hours and like wake up at the proper time and have all that energy? I came in like, oh my fucking God, dude. Well, there's going to be nothing more disastrous than if either of you talk about how much you're training and then you show up and you're either skinny, spooky, scary skeletons <laughs> yeah. or fat fucks. You know what I mean? Like if you guys are telling people we're training eight hours a day with professionals, you better show up fucking ripped. And I'm, ready not, to I'm not training eight hours. I, like that's impossible. I, I don't think that's possible. Like not even professionals, eight hours, what the fuck? Like a full work day? Like three, four hours is intense enough. Like what are these guys, eight hours, fucking liar. You get, like, you get a team of MMA fighters training him for eight hours. Do you know how expensive that would be for a team for eight hours? I think even a one-on-one -on -one with an MMA fighter is still fucking expensive for an hour, let alone eight, like a team of them. What a fucking lie, it's like a shit. How, how are you going to do it? Are you going to like do like that Rocky training shit? What was it like three or four oh, where he's fighting Drago where you're out in the snow and shit running around with logs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, I have some chopping wood, huh? Flipping tires, chopping wood. It's just manly <laughs> shit out in the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm doing this straight real training, man. I'm doing this. I'm fucking pumped. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, I don't. I guess we have everything lined up for it to be. Now, is it true that um, Destiny agreed to be a ring girl and that he's going to arrive in a Mercedes Benz so he can show <laughs> Tonka what that means? <laughs> no, no. I, well, maybe it is true. Well, well, how did you hear that? Put up five hundred bucks, is, yeah, for a uh, part of the purse or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. well, I'll, I'll throw into the purse. I'll throw five. I'll match him. I'll match him. I'll throw five hundred in the purse. All right, so oh, we got a thousand. Damn. Sure. All right, man. Straight up. There you go, Tonka. Some fucking motivation there. You need to, like those berries, more super berries, right? There you go. Yeah, man. But I'm if, fucking if he, if he shows Andy, if, if I'm putting 500 in the purse and he shows up as some spooky, scary skeleton and he hasn't taken this seriously, I, I want you to fucking fracture something on him. <laughs> yeah, why my money's worth, Andy. If he shows up and he isn't prepared and he's been bullshitting for two and a half months, I want to hear him cry from the back seats in that fucking stadium. <laughs> I will, dude. I I make you that promise, dude. I make you that promise. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I can't. I, I, I'm gonna fucking whisper in his ear while I'm like on him. Just horrible fucking shit. Oh, I have all my things. I'm gonna fuck with him in the ring already. Like whisper the most horrendous. He's, it's really like a nightmare when I'm on him. Nightmare. Oh, he, oh I don't want right. Like I, I don't want to say it here. Just talk. Just know when I have my fucking lips to your ear after beating Andy, the I'm fuck out be of you. I'm gonna be very disappointed if I'm paying Tonka five hundred dollars. You better not let me down. I, <laughs> dude, don't you worry. Don't you worry. 
I'm ready for this. <laughs> so the 19th and then uh, Loy is going to put out information on how people can watch this then or what? When yeah. is he going to put up shit up uh, like where the fuck people go to actually watch this specific match, not the whole show? Um, I think, well, uh, honestly, I'll talk about it. I'll make a video and stuff. I'll let you know, man, for sure. Yeah, because I want to watch this happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I think we all do. I, I want to watch it happen. I'm sad that I'm going to be in it. I want to watch him be beat up, but I guess I have to fucking do it. Fine. <laughs> Talk, you're fucking done, bitch. Stop running. All right. Well, stick to your training. Mm -hmm. Stick to your training, champ. You know, stay on it. Uh, <laughs> avoid, uh, you know, obnoxious amounts of cocaine and Dairy Queen, and I think you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. All right. Take it easy, guys. All right. Peace, dude. Peace. Later,